Hello, and welcome to our webinar where we will be discussing Salesforce's outbound funds module. During this session, we'll be walking through a demo and also offering up our thoughts and experiences in implementing this module for our customers. Uh, before we go any further, I uh, want to start off by saying thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this recording, uh, and we'll be sharing our contact information at the end, and we encourage you to send us any feedback so we can continue offering up content uh, that will help you on your Salesforce journey. My name is Ruben Singh, and I'll be your presenter for this session. I am the founder and CEO of One Tenth Consulting. Uh, One Tenth is a boutique consulting firm that exclusively serves nonprofits. Uh, we are a registered Salesforce.com and Salesforce.org partner, and we work very closely with organizations in moving their mission forward through a variety of services, uh, including strategic guidance, CRM implementation, training, and user adoption. So with uh, most of the nonprofits that we work with uh, on Salesforce implementations, the first phase is typically setting them up to fundraise using the nonprofit success pack. Uh, this allows organizations to support individual online and corporate giving. But I'd say the second highest priority is grants. Uh, grant management has become such a hot topic because there's just so much to track from requirements to deliverables to reporting, money coming in, money going out, and all the collaboration that happens in between. And many of the nonprofits that we work with are using spreadsheets to track all of this. So I often get the call saying, Ruben, you know, these spreadsheets are just not working for us anymore. We can't track, we can't measure, we can't collaborate in any meaningful way. And we surely don't want to track all this grant information separate from all our other giving and constituent information. So what you got? Uh, and that is where Salesforce's grant management uh, capabilities come in. So now let's uh, dive a, a level deeper here. And uh, there's some nonprofits that pursue or receive grants as a funding source, and they are grantees. And that is what you see sort of on the left side of this diagram. And this is most of the nonprofits that we work with. They might receive government funding or foundation funding. And so they go through a planning phase. They look at different opportunities. Um, either existing or new uh, uh, funding sources. They will apply for it either through some online portal or an uh, online form. Uh, hopefully they are awarded that grant and then they have to monitor and make sure they complete all the deliverables associated with that. And then ultimately it's, it's closed out. Then there's some organizations, some nonprofits that we work with that actually distribute grants. So this is money going out. Um, it follows a similar cycle in the sense in the sense that there's a planning phase on you know how much money are we uh, distributing or or regranting to other organizations. Uh, then we would receive applications from potential recipients. We would review them. We would ultimately grant those awards and then also monitor to make sure that we receive all the different requirements that we have throughout the process and then ultimately close it out. So in summary, there are organizations that are grantees um, that uh, are looking to receive grant funds. And then there are some nonprofits that are grantors and they distribute grant funds. And then there are many nonprofits that actually do both. Uh, so a perfect example example is they might be the nonprofit might receive funding from a foundation, but as part of that grant, uh, there might be a requirement to actually redistribute or regrant part of that uh, funding to other organizations, perhaps smaller organizations that you, they might partner with. All right. So um, in, in all of this, I would say that Salesforce supports both of these functions through three different features. And it's a bit confusing, uh, depending on where you look up this information on the various different marketing uh, material, because it's all marketed very loosely under an umbrella term of grants management. So to clear up the confusion, the three specific the features um, that support this uh, diagram right here are as follows. The first one is the grant opportunity, or it's the grant record type uh, used in opportunity management in the core NPSP module. So this is what, and for those who are using NPSP or are familiar with it, this is a, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, this record type grant receive is used to pursue grants or to receive grant funding. So this is money coming in. And this is a part of the core NPSP product. Uh, surprisingly, lots of organizations I work with don't actually know how this works or how it functions. So uh, I, I love this functionality and I'm going to just touch on it a little bit in our uh, demo in a bit, uh, but definitely reach out to us if you'd like to learn more about it. 
The second feature under this grants management umbrella is the outbound funds module. Uh, this is, uh, as you can guess, money going out. Um, this is the you know, funds that we are distributing or funds that are being regranted. Now, this particular feature is not in the core NPSP product, but it is compatible with NPSP and it is offered at no extra charge available on the App Exchange. And, and we're going to cover this in a bit, but this is, this is really what the focus of our conversation is going to be today. And the third and final feature, just so you're aware of it, um, is confusingly referred to as grants management on the Salesforce material. It is based off of the outbound funds module, but there's an extra layer on top of it that serves as a portal for grants, uh, grant seekers to apply for funding. All right. So this is not only the outbound funds module, but it's also a layer that sits on top where external folks can apply directly um, and uh, apply for a grant that you might be offering. Uh, I will say that this is a paid app. So in, in summary here, uh, you have your grant record type, which is part of core NPSP, which is part of your NPSP licenses. Uh, then there is the outbound funds module, which is an add-on at no extra charge available on the app exchange. And then there is uh, the grants management uh, feature that you're seeing here, which uh, gives a public facing portal, um, but this is a paid app. And uh, I'll try to, I'll, I'll cover pricing a little bit later, but you'll always want to check with your account executive to make sure you got the, the latest and greatest on, on pricing. Okay. So as I mentioned, the, the the focus for today is going to be on the outbound funds module. Uh, so this is again, money going out. And uh, before we jump into the demo, I always like to cover the data model. Uh, some people you know, like to just see things visually in the system and some people like to see the model first. So I like to cover both. So you are gonna see some custom objects that get implemented when you install this package, uh, the, the outbound funds module package. And so the, the, it starts with this funding program. So if I'm a nonprofit and I have you know, $50,000 that I, I have the ability to distribute, that is where I, I track it in my funding program. So that is $50,000 for a particular cause. Now organizations uh, are, are going to ask for some of that money. So for any organization that calls in or emails in or fills out some online application for you, you would create a funding request on their behalf. Uh, and so maybe if there's $50,000 to give, somebody's asking for 5,000, somebody's asking for 10,000. And that's where uh, you would fill out a funding request for all of those individual requests. Each request can have requirements associated with it, you know, applications, fees, what have you. Uh, and then you can also specify uh, funding roles. So if there's somebody who um, might be influencing or might be a third party associated with this request, you could track them there. Ultimately, you wanna to get to a point where you say, yep, we're ready to award that, uh, that grant to another organization. And that's where we use the disbursement. Uh, and then when we disperse funds, Optionally, we can use this uh, GAU expenditure object here where we can say, okay, of that money that we distributed, uh, it's going to be allocated to this particular GAU or these many GAUs. Um, so this is a pretty, it's an optional feature, but it's pretty cool because it allows you to see what money is coming in for, for GAUs, but also what money is going out. Okay, so this is just a high level look at the data model. Let's go ahead and uh, look at a demo of the system. And I'm going to be using my fictitious Baltimore based uh, nonprofit here called Be More Social Justice Coalition. And let's go ahead and go into the system here. And I'm gonna start off um, with just the, the standard NPSP app. And for those who've seen my demos before, you know I, I keep it basic. I'd like, to, I'd like you to see exactly what's there out of the box. All I did was add um, a little bit of data, but other than that, what you see is exactly what you get uh, when you install the apps. Okay, so um, let's first assume that um, the, the, the Be More Social Justice Coalition is an organization that receives grant funding, but also uh, uh, redistributes or regrants some of the funding as well. So I'm going to start with the standard uh, grant uh, opportunity. Again, this is money coming in, and this is the part of the core NPSP capabilities. And here's my grant that we won. So this has been awarded. It's for $100,000 uh, that uh, we have been awarded from the Oak Foundation. And I have all the information that I, I have on my grant um, and you know all the details, the specifics around the start dates and end dates, so on and so forth. If I scroll up to the top here, you can see that for this $100,000, there's it's going to be paid in four scheduled payments. Uh, two of those payments have been received and two are still outstanding. 
uh, I can see that this uh, is all tied to the um, to a restricted uh, fund that we have here for racial justice. So this money is restricted for that purpose. Uh, under the GAU allocations. And then I also have some deliverables. So things, some things now that we have awarded this, we've been awarded this grant, we have some specific deliverables around it. I have a report that I need to send out. But one of the deliverables is that we have to redistribute 50% of this award. So perhaps that was part of the agreement with the Oak Foundation that we're going to receive $100,000. But based on the work that we do, uh, they have asked us to uh, re-grant 50,000 of it, 50% 50 of it to maybe other organizations that we partner with, perhaps smaller organizations that others that that Oak Foundation may not know about. All right, so this is the part that we are going to use the outbound, outbound funds module to support. So uh, once you have installed the outbound funds module, this app is going to be available to you, outbound funds. It is going to give you a new uh, menu tab here that uh, is uh, aligned with what we looked at with the data model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new funding program, okay? And it is going to be uh, $50,000 for um, uh, racial justice regrants, I'll call it. Never good typing in recording, so bear with me. Okay, and you know I can indicate whether it's a parent program or top level. Um, I'm going to say that this is in progress right now, and you know I can just put a start date. And I'm going to give just a high level description um, from the uh, 100K Oak Foundation grant. and that we need to. Uh, Regrant 50% by end of 2021. Okay. And the total program amount for this funding program is $50,000. Okay. So that's what we need to grant uh, to regrant. So I'm going to save that. Okay. So this is our funding program. So the next thing, if you remember from the data model, is now we can have individual requests come in. And I'm just going to real quickly, I forgot to put myself as the program manager here. All right. And so now we can go ahead and log the different funding requests that come in. So let's say we publicize this particular uh, program and then we start getting calls, getting emails, start having conversations. I can continue to use activity and chatter and files and such, upload documents, collaborate with my team, log tasks for myself or others, just like we would in any other, uh, uh, um, in, in any other area of Salesforce. But now we get to a point where a funding request has been, um, uh, has been established. So I'm gonna say new funding request. And it's uh, an organization that we've worked with BCW and it's uh, for $10,000 that they're asking for. And that's great. So I'm gonna say that they've sent in their application. I'm gonna say it's uh, in progress right now. And um, you know they work, uh, and these are out of the box values where you can surely update that one if you wanted to. And I can put specifics about what they're requesting for, so on and so forth. And the organization is called Baltimore Community Works. I can indicate who my point of contact is there. At this point, we haven't awarded anything, but they are asking for $10,000. And you know, based on some internal conversations, that is kind of what we're recommending if we decide to go ahead with it, all right? So that is the first uh, funding request. Uh, if I wanted to, let me go ahead and add another funding request. This is going to be um, for an organization, East Baltimore Tech uh, Center. They also want $10,000. Um, they've submitted their application. They submitted, let's say, a preliminary application. Um, we're going to call this also in progress. Uh, and they focus on children, youth, and just uh, skill development. And I am going to say uh, that this is identify the organization. And then my point of contact there. All right. And they're also, as I mentioned, asking for $10,000. And yeah, we think that's about the right amount as well. And we're going to hit save. Okay. So right now I have two funding requests associated with this program. So I'm going to just pick one of these and I'm just going to take it you know, throughout the process so you can see how it works end to end. Um, I, of course, can enter more information here. I can enter specific activities, tasks, and collaboration through Chatter for this specific funding request. 
Um, but in this case, I, there's also a couple other things I can do. I can also add a funding request role. So let's say that there is a person who is going to be influencing this in one, one you know, way or another. I'm gonna say create funding request role. And I'm gonna say that Margo uh, is, um, she's sort of the grant manager in this process. Or I can say grant manager, financial manager, you know, attorneys, uh, financial advisors. You could put anything you want here. I'm going to select grant manager. So this is just someone who's who's a third party who's playing a role in this process that I want to capture. And I can add as many of these as I want. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a requirement. So um, let's say that they've filled out the preliminary application, but then there's like a, you know a longer application or a background check or something that they need to do. So let's just say background check. Um, and who is responsible uh, to uh, on their side, who's responsible on our side to follow up. And this is a, you know, I can, I can put different values here, but I say that they need to give us this background check um, by, uh, by the 19th. And right now it's open. Um, and I can put a little narrative here if I want to, but uh, this could be anything. This could be uh, you know, financial information that they need to provide you. It could be uh, a report that they need to provide you. It could be an interview, but these are all the individual requirements in order to secure this funding request. All right. So uh, let's get, so, so let's say we, we continue to have conversations and we get to the point where we are ready to uh, offer these funds and, and award this organization that $10,000. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna change the status. We're gonna change that to awarded. And we are going to say the award date is today. And uh, I'm gonna put the awarded amount of $10,000 and hit save. And so uh, this is great. And now the next step and the final step in this is to actual, actually set up the disbursement. So of the $10,000 here, let's say that we're not quite in a position to give $10,000 in a lump sum. So we're, gonna, uh, we're going to create disbursements. And so this is very similar to the payment functionality. If you use that for pledges or opportunities, it'll look very familiar. So I'm going to hit create disbursements. And I'm going to say for that $10,000, uh, we're going to have four disbursements over the course of, uh, of um, uh, a month at a time. So I'm going to calculate that. And there you have it. It's going to be four payments of $2,500 over the next four months. And I'm going to hit save. So it uh, go, goes ahead and creates my disbursement schedule. And I can now go into these individual disbursements and I can update their status. So I'm going to say that this one was paid. And um, I'm going to say that it is, uh, yeah, let's say it's initial. I can ind indicate the disbursement date if I wanted to and how it came in. Um, I'm gonna hit save here. And then the last part to close, close the loop is to indicate the GAU expenditure. Now this part is optional if you want to install this component. Um, but basically what I can do here is say, okay, that, that grant, if you remember that we won um, for that $100,000 was tied to, to that racial justice restricted account. Well, I can mark this to that as well. Um, and so this is $2,500 and it will tie back to that same GAU. So um, let me just kind of trace back to it. Oops, I did that too quick. Hold on one moment. And let me go to the GAU. I'll just double check here. Hopefully it's saved. Okay, the expenditure didn't save. Let me try that one more time. Um, and just so we can see how that, that closed out, I'll go back to that funding request. Okay, we'll go back to the disbursement. So it was paid. And then, yeah, it didn't look like it saved. So let me create a new one there. And racial justice, 2,500. Okay, I think, I think that's good. I don't need to do anything else there. Um, so, but I, I will trace it back. And I can see, um, sure enough, the amount available for this is 97,500. So it has tracked both the allocation of $100,000 that came in, as well as the disbursement that came out. Uh, and if I go to the related tab, I can see the individual um, incoming and outgoing funds tied to that particular GAU. So pretty, pretty cool feature there. 
Um, the only other thing that I wanted to show you, um, it, just give me one second here. I'm going to go back to the original funding program. Um, and what you can see here, and this was, now I'm going back to that, that root level, that top level of the funding program. And if I go into program analysis, this will just give me a nice chart here where I can see, okay, well, how much uh, did we have and how much is still left? So I can always kind of keep tabs on um, how much money is still available to be regranted to others. All right. So that, in a nutshell, is the functionality available in the outbound funds module. So I'm going to now jump back to uh, my presentation here, and we'll wrap up with just a couple more slides. Okay. So what do we like? You know, we've been we've been doing this uh, for a few different organizations. Uh, some things that we like are it is a very simplified. Uh, architecture and very scalable. Um, so, and and honestly, in some of these recent packages and recent features that Salesforce has has developed, I, I really like how uh, simple they've made it. Program management, outbound funds module, um, even the case management. I'd say that there's there's been a history I've seen with other products that I've worked with that just are overcomplicated and overbuilt. That you really can't scale it or customize it to your needs. It's just it just gets too complicated. Um, but but what I think Salesforce has done here is really build just the foundation so that you can customize it specifically to the organizations that you work with, um, add on to it in any way you, you see fit. You know, as I mentioned in the second bullet point here, it's open source. You can build onto it. Um, you know, a, a very logical next step would be to create some sort of approval process or create some validation rules or some process builders. Um, so it's a very simple platform with just a handful of custom objects that really offer a lot of great functionality that, that you can build on top of. Uh, some other things that we like about it is uh, the install is pretty straightforward and in configuration um, is pretty straightforward and, and, and I would say it's uh, very well documented uh, and I'll show you some links to the uh, uh, how to access that documentation and then of course it's free and and I'll, I should say that it, it is included as part of your Salesforce uh, license uh, that's probably a more accurate term um, and so you know, anything that I can offer to my customers that say hey you don't have to pay an extra license License fee for that always makes them happy. Um, and it's something that can add a tremendous amount of value, especially if you're moving them off of spreadsheets. Um, things to consider. So if, if you're not going to go with that third feature that I talked about, you know, this is sort of the one thing you just need to be aware of that what I just showed you does not have anything externally facing. There's no one, there's nothing that is actually getting, uh, nothing's being received from an external party. Um, so if you are um, interested in that sort of functionality where someone can apply uh, externally, well, then you need to either look into that grants management platform um, that or, or, or product, I should say, that was the third item that I showed you in the list of three features. And I think the current price for that uh, published price is like uh, 2100 um, per user uh, per year, I believe. Um, but I would definitely check uh, the app exchange. It's listed there and check uh, the app ex uh, check uh, with your account executive um, just to get some specifics on that. So yeah, don't don't quote me on that pricing. Um, definitely check out the app exchange to see what the current pricing is or check with your account executive, but definitely know that it is a paid feature. The other thing is, and I'll just throw this out there, that if you don't necessarily need um, the two-way communication with the grant seeker, uh, you only need one way. So you know they just need to uh, submit an application. Then uh, you don't necessarily need to use this portal. You can use you know Form Assembly or Form Stack or whatever your Forms tool is um, to receive that information. As long as that Forms tool allows you to map to a custom object, because in this case you'd be uh, mapping it to funding request. So uh, just know that if that's, you know, even though it's not a, a bi-directional communication with a grant seeker, uh, you can use a forms tool to um, at least have one direction uh, with, uh, with the external grant seeker. Um, but uh, that is just something to consider as you're going through this. But overall, we are um, super happy about this particular product and the customers that we've implemented it for are very pleased with it. So um, if you want to get more information about this, you know, feel free to screenshot this, uh, this uh, slide right here. But really, it's, um, this is on the salesforce.org website. And then the rest of this information is available on the Power of Us Hub. There is a special Power of Us Hub group for Outbound Funds module. So 
if you're looking for what I showed you, don't go to the grants, the grants management power of us hub group, go to the outbound funds module group. Um, they have uh, some really cool videos, uh, you know, a, a very thorough video walkthrough, but then a few short how to videos. Um, but, uh, but yeah, definitely some good material out there and documentation, installation steps, so on and so forth. Um, and uh, so I know I, I, I tried to make this all sound easy, but I know uh, every nonprofit I work with is, is juggling lots of different priorities. So we can help you. We can help you in several different ways. Um, if you uh, are on Salesforce or if you're on something else or you're using spreadsheets, we can review your grants management lifecycle and we can offer up some tips on some ways to help improve it uh, to see if Salesforce might be a good fit for you. Um, and, and how, how so, which of those three features that I mentioned would be a good fit for you. Uh, we can also assess your current CRM. We work with a lot of organizations that have had Salesforce for many, many years. It's gone through many different administrators, hasn't been really uh, kept uh, and maintained well over the years. Uh, we can come in and we can assess your current CRM, uh, see what we can salvage or what we might need to, to shift or, or pivot on, and then ultimately give you a gap analysis and, gap analysis and say, well, here's, here's what your current CRM looks like, your current Salesforce looks like. Uh, and here's a roadmap to, to get to a place um, that is really helping your organization in a, in a nice and clean way. So we have done a lot of assessments and, and seem to be doing a lot of those recently uh, for organizations that have been on Salesforce for a long time. So we can help you get started from scratch. We can help you assess your current Salesforce or whatever your current CRM is and put together a gap analysis and roadmap on how to move forward. Uh, we can also help with the implementation itself. We do lots of implementations on, on Salesforce, grants management, program management, case management, and happy to help on that front. Uh, and also, uh, if you already have Salesforce up and running and you're looking to, and it just really hasn't been adopted in the way that you want or the way that you hoped, uh, we have a pretty elaborate change management program um, to help uh, everybody become just enabled and empowered to use the system to make sure you're really getting the most out of it. Uh, so these are just a few ways that we can help you. And uh, the best way to find out how that works is to give us a call. So schedule a no pressure phone consultation with us. Uh, we're more than happy to have conversations and just kind of see if there is a fit at no cost, no pressure. Um, send us an email, give us a call, and we'll be happy to talk through it. If you are not ready quite yet to have that conversation, I would say uh, at a minimum, go ahead and follow us on our social media, um, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, and because we are constantly putting content out there, articles that we like, that we've seen, um, that we think will help people on their Salesforce journey, especially if they're considering some of the features that we've talked about. So with that, I'm going to conclude where I started uh, with gratitude. Thank you all very much uh, for taking the time to watch this. And we hope we can connect with you uh, sometime soon. All righty.